Hi, I'm Trinity Wells. I have been backpacking since I was 12 years old. My first time was at summer camp and I brought my disc man, a couple journals, cause I couldn't decide between which journal, um, a few CDs and I think a book. And I, it was massive and I was very small at the time. And I actually, I was a traditional backpacker for a very long time um, until I was, about 26 or 27 when I met a couple of CDT hikers and they looked like day hikers. They were super comfortable and I was like, this is, this is, they've got, they have something here. And, um, and right after that, I did a large 11 month trek up the length of South America. And um, throughout that time, I had a lot of time to narrow down my pack. By no means did this happen overnight from like the giant behemoth pack to this. Um, but I, I hope that, uh, that you can take some takeaways from what I've learned. Um, another thing I, you know, during South America, I kind of thought, hey, you know, when I get back to the States um, and I'm doing a one or two night trip, like I'll probably carry more weight, <laughs> you know? but, uh, but I didn't like, this is what I carry for a one night backpack. Uh, this is how I'm comfortable. This is how I feel good. And if I'm carrying extra weight, it's usually in food or wine or like a two and a half pound cake. <laughs> so, um, first I'm going to tell you about what I usually wear, um, which usually means all the time I wear this. And I think I've worn the same outfit for the last three backpacking seasons. Um, I always wear a hat. I usually don't wear sunglasses with them because they kind of get in the way. Um, I really like this shirt. Um, Patagonia makes it. Um, and it's a quick dry and I can roll it down um, or move it up based on like the weather like it's kind of hot out today like I might like pop the collar and get a little bit of sun protection and like keep it kind of airy buttoned down but I can also button it up and um, be a little bit warmer so I feel like it bridges really well um, different weather and then um, my pants are just like a very lightweight um, like quick dry pant um, socks are a wool blend. I like the, I don't like them to be too high, but I don't like the little, um, the, the little socks, um, because I find that like I get stuck in them or I get like really dirty ankles. So this feels like the right length for, for me. Um, and then my shoes, these are La Sportivas. They're, they're fine. They're great. I prefer the Saucony Peregrines, but I like to experiment once in a while. Um, and I like almost always leave them untied, um, unless I'm going downhill because the, um, the, the looser they are, the more, uh, the less friction I have and like the more comfortable my feet are, the less hot that they get. Um, and so, so then I can avoid blisters. So, um, and then one last thing that I'm wearing is I've got a little necklace on with a whistle. Um, scissors, I don't carry a knife in the backcountry. Um, I find scissors can do everything and they do everything really well. <laughs> um, and then, um, and then a, a, just a small compass. So getting into my pack, first I've got, this is my, um, whoop my like three quarters foam pad. I cut it, I trimmed, this is a Thermarest Ridge Rest. I trimmed the sides and this goes basically from like the like bottom of my bum to my neck cause I'll use a pillow and I, I don't need it on my legs. So I'm gonna kneel on it right now. Um, and then this is my pack. This is the Gossamer Gear Murmur from, um, like three seasons ago and I'm still using it. I backpack a lot. Um, I'll even use it for day hikes. Um, and I have my water bottle, smart water water bottle, and um, put a snack in that one. <laughs> and then uh, I have an umbrella because um, I, I like umbrellas for both sun protection and for water protection. I'll show you the rest of my kind of rain outfit in a little bit. Um, I have a map, the Indian Peaks, Gold Hill. This is, that's what we're looking at right now, um, which is just in my backyard. And then this is my poop kit, like keep it very, very handy. Um, and I have a little bit of toilet paper, 
a little bit of bandana because if you get sick and you run out of toilet paper, which that happened many times in South America, like you want something else. <laughs> and, um, and then I have a dog poop bag because I find it does a really good job of keeping the um, stink in. So I'll put the dirty items, like dirty toilet paper into the dog poop bag and then put it back in this bag. So I kind of have like the clean and the dirty separated. Um, and then I have some cord that I bought off of Gossamer Gear's website and um, and, and then like a, an assortment of stakes. I really like bringing a mix because you never know what the ground is going to be like. And I think a few of those are from the Gossamer Gear website as well. And then, um, and then, oh, I'll talk about the P-Rag. Um, this is my P-Rag. I like, get, I rigged it with like a little bit of like, just so that I can get it off and on easily and uh, tied a little knot here. Um, so I use this to wipe when I just go pee and um, I find it to be really effective, really easy at first. I thought it was totally gross, but then my friend was using it enough and I was like, actually, that's awesome. That sounds great. And um, it dries out really quickly and the UV rays will disinfect it. So big fan of that. And then um, in the front here, I keep accessible um, some hand sanitizer always and then um, bleach so that like when I'm filling up water, like I am doing it on the go, like I can have my backpack on, I don't even stop, I just pull it out of my little hip pocket. I'll take this off, put it in my pocket, I'll like fill up, pause quick, and I'll like even like uncap this with my mouth and like put a couple drops in and I'm still moving. So I don't even pause um, to fill up with water. So I keep that really accessible. Let's see here. I'm getting into the pack. This is my food bag, which is just a um, reusable grocery pack. And um, and then I also have a food bag, like an inner food liner, I guess I could call it. Um, that's a turkey oven bag um, that I just bought at a Safeway. And that really keeps the, the smell out really well. Um, so I like to like keep everything in that smells out and it's, um, and it's waterproof. And then this is easier to hang cause I can, I can tie it and then tie it with a rope really easily. I will also use it as like a pseudo purse if we're going to eat somewhere different than we're camping. Um, and then, um, this is my little like pot that works with my my little esbit stove which i'll show you next so what i'll do is i'll just i'll put it on some foil and there's like a little esbit stand i forget what this thing's called but i think i found it on rei's website and um and i'll, I'll put the esbit on there and then this will balance on there and then i can cover this guy up like that. So um, I'm gonna secure this because there's a little bit of a breeze. And then I have some Esbit and my lighter in there. Um, then I use this to eat. I've used it for um, like six or seven years that made it all the way through South America. I used to have, this is by Goyo Designs, I used to have a spork on it too, um, but I found that I never use the spork, I just use the spatula. <laughs> and so um, like, I'll just like shuffle my food and it's really easy to clean um, my cup with it. Um, and then it also like has a tiny serrated edge that really actually comes in common. It'll cut pepper really well, avocado. So it kind of does everything, but it's not enough to cut your mouth. Um, and then I have a little food bandana. Notice a different color than the, than both the poop bandana and the pee bandana. <laughs> um, and then, um, and then I also keep in there, this is my, this is my, uh, toiletry kit that I'll go through quickly. Um, I have, this is like a little Gossamer gear ditty bag. And, um, I have a, like, this is a body bandana. I like the white and a little bit bigger because I could, could put it around my neck or for both warmth or, um, or, uh, sun protection. But I just use that for like kind of bathing. I have a little brush. I brush my hair every night. Um, in the back country, I have a little 
toothbrush that I cut off the end so it fits in the bag. Um, this is radius floss. Um, so you can just like pull out the floss like that. <laughs> um, an extra hair band. I just have a loose bar of soap in here that I, I sort of all like do a whole little routine at night before going to bed or I'll like wash my face and use the little towel, brush my hair. Um, I have some sunscreen that I repackage into this little guy. Um, tooth powder, which is like baking soda essentially. And um, a little bit of bug spray that I'll put on my feet if I need it, but usually I'm like fully covered. Um, and then some oil for moisturizing. And, um, and then this is my favorite. Uh, I always bring like these little mini um, perfume vials of essential oils. So I have uh, eucalyptus and lavender and it makes you feel like a million bucks at night when you put a little lavender on or in the morning when you put a little bit of eucalyptus on. I feel like I'm ready for the Oscars or something. <laughs> um, and then um, I have my first aid kit, which um, I mean, there's a lot of different stuff in here, um, but I try to just keep it to like the scope of the trip. Um, I'm not going to go through absolutely everything, um, but the like I, I just have a little bit of repair stuff that can go either way. Like duct tape can also be used for um, first aid, and, like a little bit of repair tape for my pack. I have extra matches and um, like Advil, Advil PM, uh, Benadryl. Um, some paper, which are like my gossamer gear cards, <laughs> um, but um, paper like in case of emergency, and then um, some items that I use for blister. And I always bring eye drops because eye drops, like I feel like I use them every other trip. Something gets in my eyes, and a pen. So that's kind of emergency related. Um, and then, okay, getting into the big stuff. This is my tarp that I sleep on and I keep this on top of my pack because I actually, if it rains, like if later this afternoon it rains, I'll put it on me as a, um, as like a sarong. So I'll kind of like fold it back over and tighten it like a sarong and I'll, uh, and I'll roll up my pant legs and then I'll get my umbrella out and my, uh, I'll grab my windbreaker, which is the Patagonia Houdini. I'll put that on. <laughs> Pally, come here. Pally, come here. Come here. <laughs> Our dog. <laughs> this is Pally, and he's gonna stand right in front of the camera. <laughs> Um, so I was talking about my rain setup. So I've got my Patagonia Houdini that I'll wear on top, this on the bottom, my ground tarp, and then my umbrella. Um, and I find that, I mean, I've been on top of peaks in wind and rain, and I find it to be highly effective. Um, I get hot in rain gear, um, and I just wet myself from like the inside out versus like staying dry. And I yeah it, it it just it works really well for me um okay you'll probably see you probably notice oh, i'm gonna have to weigh that down i'm gonna put the umbrella on there um i pulled out my puffy i always bring a puffy even in um when it's like summertime because i get a little cold at night and i'll always put it on um usually toward nighttime and I'll put the items that I need at night in this pocket. So I have a little micro light and then I have the, I have uh, some extra batteries for the micro light uh, and, uh, and then th some earplugs for sleeping. And the micro light I found on gossamergear.com as well. And then, um, and then I have my, my headband that I will cover my ears with and it just keeps me nice and warm and especially with the hat too like if I'm hiking during a cold day it's really effective so there's my puffy 
And then I had pulled my Houdini out of my head net, which doubles as my stuff sack. And then I also have a spare pair of like these same socks and, um, and then also a pair of quick dry underwear. Um, black is nice because it like won't stain and it, uh, and it dries really quickly, but also it's easy to leave on a rock. And so like, I actually would prefer color, but I didn't like the colors or I forget why I didn't, why I chose those ones, but colored underwear is kind of nice so that you don't accidentally leave it on a rock somewhere, um, which I've done. <laughs> so, um, and then this is the Gossamer Gear inflatable mattress, which I have just started using because I usually actually don't use this, but I am 16 weeks pregnant and um, I am a little less comfortable at night. <laughs> um, and uh, I noticed that like my lower back was hurting a little bit. So I thought that I would try it out and it has been a lot more comfortable than just this, which I do like I love and I'm sure I'll go back to that. But for this time, I will be using this. Um, and then I have my sleeping bag, which is a quilt. And, um, and so it has a foot box. There's a foot box and then it like clips. It'll have a clip that goes around my neck. And so combined with my um, puffy jacket, I'll, like I'll have my hood on, I'll have my little band, like band or um, headband on and my sleeping bag and uh, I'll be nice and cozy at night. And then the last thing, my pack liner. Oh, I didn't even have it in my pack liner, but um, I have an extra water vessel, um, just a collapsible water vessel so I can get a little bit more um, if I need to, but I, I usually don't actually use that that much. Um, and then I stuffed everything into a white trash compactor bag, which I think I bought a roll like five or six years ago, and I still have so many bags. I, they last forever. Um, and I pack everything in that except for my food bag, which sits on top so that I keep the food separate from my clothing and sleepwear. Um, and then at the very bottom, I have my tarp which is the Q twin from Gossamer Gear. Um, and now they have made another version, which I'll try out at some point, but I love this. And, uh, and so I'll set this up. It'll fit two to three people, like two people if it's me and my husband, three people if it's like three girls. <laughs> and um, and, uh, and I, I love the tarp because I can set it up a lot of different ways. It's great in the rain um, because then you have a little more headroom or you can adjust. And that, that's everything in my pack. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>